Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Veriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor. Garalif is saying hello as well. And we are back in the war room of Anna Kurfu, ready to continue the legacy of Durin's storyline. Uh, but first, well, forgot to grab my habit present of the day. Uh, just a few, well, some virtue XP, some gold, nothing to major. Let us go now. Too long have orcs dwelt within the sacred mountain of my people. Gundavat was home to the first of us. It was home to the best of us. Let us take it back. Durin bares his teeth and gives the assembled crowd a ferocious smile. Then he breathes deeply, and in a quieter tone he addresses you. Are you prepared, Beryathan? Shall I give the order to march? Oh yeah! Garlif is also really excited uh, to be going to war, it seems, so... <sighs> We're finally there. Then it begins. The War of Three Peaks is upon us. Or Gundavad. Oh yeah! Forward! Forward! Gundavad will be ours! Oh, this is a, the assault on Circle Sulun. Awesome. Uh, so, you don't mind, Durin. Uh, now that the war has begun, this is a very important moment. And I am really... I really like the music in here as well. So we're just grabbing a couple screenshots of Prince Durin. Oh, there we go. We need to see Sarkul Sulun if we are to push through Eldersley toward Gundavat. The Shalroka will lead away behind our prince, and my long beards will follow them. We have orcs to slay, Pryathan. Stay close to me. To war! Yeah, I'm gonna stick close to the prince, defend him. That's what I should be doing. Long beards to me! You might notice I'm hitting a little bit harder than on uh, the last episode. I did get a new shield from the Varterer in Anakurfu. And that that makes a big difference. I was going with a level 106 shield. The orcs cannot stand against us. And me running with an old shield cannot stand either. So I'm really glad I was able to to get well to upgrade my gear even though we're about to to outlevel the one level 30 areas, so it's gonna be a short-lived shield, but I still wanted to get a new one. Right behind you, Prince Durin. We're near to victory, Beriathan. Where is Ingor? He was to lift his shelter cap up the slope. Something wrong, dwarf? You seem to be... short. An army. My long beard will be more than enough to slay you, orc. We'll see about that. Get him, boys! Weaklings, I'll do it myself. Now, if you don't mind, I, I would very much like to grab a picture of you and Durin fighting. No, don't hit me. I think that's that's gonna be good enough. Let's help poor Durin. That's enough. Send out the muscle, boys. The Muscle of Circle Sulun. Alright, what a fun name. Circle Sulun has been occupied. A new foothold for the Gavilaka. 
and a new screenshot of our victory, if you don't mind. That's right. All around me I see only Longbeards. Where are the Shelroka? Where is Ingor? That's a very good question. The War of Three Peaks has begun. And with this we're also able now to advance the quest that we left pending in Sudrandam and that's that's also good. What is the meaning of this? Ingor was supposed to lead his Sheldroka at the head of the charge. Why then did the dwarves under his command waddle in the rear, allowing my long beard to bear the brunt of the first impact? What can it be but cowardice? Beriathan, find the Sheldroka coward. I demand answers. Does he still dawdle outside? We'll see about that. Now, uh, Durin in here will also give us... Uh, well, this is the the ramp on to Gundabad that we cannot take yet. Well, we can, but we're not gonna. And this is for the raid, so we're gonna wait a little bit longer before grabbing that quest. Hail, Brethan. The War of Three Peaks has begun, and we of the Gavilaka have dealt our trenches in answer to the Oxo Gundabad. Indeed, the lines of battle are drawn in the very area of Elder's Lead. We may have secured a foothold at Circle Zulum, but it will take more than one victory to triumph against Gorgard the Ruthless. To that end, I have a mission for you. First, I ask that you gather reports from the dwarves Oruk, Shudo, and Guardian. I must know more of how our forces fight there in the field, and I trust you to hear their words. Second, and of most import, I have sent three of Prince Durin's most trusted veterans of the Sixth War of Orcs and Dwarves to establish a forward command at Ith Barathrak. You are to deliver these orders to Agnar Brokentooth and aid him and the others as best you can. I trust you alone with this mission. Be swift. Before you depart Circle soon, I have one more task for you. In this time of battle and sacrifice, the dwarves that serve in the Gavilaka look to the leaders among them. As you battle a Clora Elder Slate with our forces, plant banners where you have won victory over Gorgar the Ruthless and his orcs. It is your example and your resolve that might turn the tide of the War of Three Peaks, my friend. Never forget that, Periathan. Let them harden the dwarves of the Gavilaka. Let our banners march with us to the foot of Mount Gundavad. And we also have Nain. Awesome. This is also gonna be one of those uh <laughs> one of those moments in which we're gonna get more, way more quests than what we can have. And using here, there's Prince Ingor, but this is a Prince Ingor for another quest. Not chapter 4.4, so uh, I guess we're gonna talk outside. Speak quickly, Kizanek, or be gone. Bah, there is nothing but rush preparations here. There needs to be order in war, or the enemy will find cracks and weaknesses. I do not even know what supplies we have available here at Circle Zulun. I am tasking you with taking inventory. This is important, and I know that I can trust you. Out with it! Take these orders, I am giving the best Shelroka warriors important missions. These missions, if successful, are certain to turn the tides of war. Deliver them at once, Beryathan, for Gundabad! What is it now? I have urgent need of someone with your skill set, Beryathan. There is a vile Orkish leader, Commander Mosguth. He has taken control of the ruins of Sudramdam. Yes, you have heard me correctly. We had only recently secured those ruins for ourselves. When the war began, we could not hold Sudrandam and had to fall back. I ask of you, infiltrate Sudrandam, find their commander and defeat the Orc Rage. Can I count on you? Absolutely. And here we have Rusat, Nath and Agatur. Awesome. Have you a moment? Ah, we have established trenches where we were able and pushed back the first assault. Assist in the battle where you can, man. Every step I take leads me farther from Mordor. Sudrandam is lost. Is enough. The bombardment from the siege engines was too great. It will be a hard push to break through the gates of Gundavat from here. But we will prevail. Put your back to the past and to the wind. Beryathan, I am ready for battle. Let us make the best of our skill on this day. I will do my part to keep the moral of the Gavilaka high. Assist glowing with into the fray. I think I am already advancing that one. Uh... Where is the War of Three Peaks? Yeah. Into the fray, yeah. I'm already doing that one. Risty Graver. 
uh, Unnamed, the commander of Sudrandam. Yeah, I just need to find Risty, it seems. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to see the dwarves in here. What about... Well, at least, yeah, I can take a picture of Durin inside Circle Zulu in 2. I mean, this is a very important moment in the story, so I hope you <laughs> understand me taking the time to take all these pictures. Elders Light Supply Packs. We don't have supply packs yet. And I'm actually thinking on getting some supply packs to upgrade my pocket item. So we might not even get the chance to use this intricate signet of Skatha's Horde. But I'm still thinking about that. I'm not sure. Finally, some action. Yeah, I I'm not sure if it's worth it getting 15 supply packs. We'll need 50 Anithilarn shards. I got them, but I'm, I'm wondering if it's worth using 15 shards to get the pocket item uh, because, well, once again, we will be going to Gundabad very soon and I, I think we will be getting more pocket items but I also remember I was using that pocket item all the way up until 140 so I don't know, I'm not sure Would you please? Finally some action, yeah, that's what I said you're taking a long time to answer. Very good. I think maybe we giving these orders to the Shilruka is best left for after we talk with Prince Ingor and hear his explanation. But we're already doing the quest, so... We'll see in just a moment when we talk to the prince, if I'm right or not. Finalism action, yeah, but please don't take so long to answer. Where are the other Shilruka? Or are they outside? Maybe no. Doesn't seem to be. They are actually here. And the supplies that we need as well. Finally, some action. Yeah. Oh, the quest order completes. Great. Will this one do the same? No. I gotta bring the report to Nain. I thank you for taking this detailed inventory. Our store seems to be in better shape than I hoped. Indeed, we can work with this. Did we get... Yeah, and you did. Quest of the World of Three Peaks. We need to complete 30 of them. So yeah, this is not as... as long, actually. Ah, okay, so here we have the banner that will take you back to the pre-war version of Elder Slate. Uh, but we don't we don't need that right now. We're gonna be staying in the war for for the time being. We we gotta press on to Gundabad. And um Prince Ingor is not here? Alright. Ah, uh, in games I allow for chance. Bah, the orcs at Circle Sulu were weak. I am as pleased as glowing that we have gained a new foothold, but many battles still await us. Look around you, Beryathan. Countless orcish arrows litter the ground, and many of them are still intact. There is a tradition in my family to always return a lost weapon to its rightful owner. In the case of the orcs of Gundabad, it seems only fitting that the keen-eyed archers of the Sheldrakat return them. Find as many intact arrows as you can. I will see that each orc shall have one in their time. I like how you think. Uh, I think we're gonna grab the milestone in here. It's gonna be more useful for us, I believe. I Hey, Albariathan. It was a long battle, but Circle Sulun has been won for the Gavilaka. However, the fires of battle still burn among our ranks, and too near to our supplies for my liking. Will you aid me and douse some of the fires that still linger? 
You can count on that. Oh, we also have Sigbeth in here. But where? I don't see... I don't see Sigbeth. Ah! He's upstairs. Durance folk shall endure, as we always have. What a battle, my friend. The orcs at Sarkul Sulum were no match for the might of the Gavilaka. After the battle's end, I discovered many barricades damaged in the fighting. Damage, but not beyond repair. If these barricades were repaired and fortified, they might yet prove valuable in our defense of Sarkul Sulun. Repair them and see that no weakness can be found in our new defenses. I'm on that as we speak. Really weird that there is no animation for Douse in the Fire. Like... Throwing a bucket or something like that. I wonder why that is. Alright. Man, I'm, I'm getting really excited. Now that we have come to War of Three Peaks. We only have this. And one more area before moving on to Gundavad. And... I'm getting so excited with the idea of hitting level cap. At long last, how many years has it been? It's been about two years and a half. I'm so excited. Oh my god, the closer I get, the more hype I get. Oh my god. Oh. What is this? Enemy forces surrounding Sarkul Sulun. We, we cannot take that. Akimarin have sworn allegiance to the Orkish forces of Gundavad to the enemy in times of war. You must defeat any Akmarim that you come across upon the battlefield to secure victory for the Gavilaka. But there is more. Come on. The Orkish forces of Gundavad, the chief enemy of this war, will stop at no cost to keep Gundavad for themselves. You must defeat any of the Orkish forces of Gundavad that you come across upon the battlefield to secure victory for the Gavilaka. And that's not all yet. Oh, I got it. Awesome. The Frost Horde has sworn their lives to the wills and ideals of Grimil Frost Horde. You must defeat any of the Frost Horde that you come across upon the battlefield to secure victory for the Gavilaka. And as you see here, well, here we have the Reflecting Pool for Elder Slade and War of Three Peaks. I always found it curious that the Reflecting Pool is here in the middle of, well, an enemy camp. You have to fight your way there. Uh, instead of having the pool be at some somewhere like Anakurfu, uh, I don't get it. I, I don't get the the reasoning behind that choice. But it's not a big deal in any case. Uh, how many of us actually go to a reflecting pool to repeat instances? Maybe if we are helping a friend. But even then, it's not it's not that common. All right, we have already collected all the arrows. And this music is so great. Talk to Darfin. We're going to do that in just a moment.
Not quite sharp enough. Good. It will sting the orcs. <laughs> oh boy. Shelroka can be very vicious opponents, it seems. I'm glad we're on their side. It seems you cannot underestimate the Shelroka. Uh, let me double check what else can we do in here. Defeat Angmarim. Oh. Liquid and Darfin we can remove. Oruk, Shudo and Guardian. No idea where they are. Sudrandam will get to there eventually. The Viners of the Gavilaka. But also where is... No. Where is Prince Ingor? That's what I thought. So let's hear what he has to say. What explanation does he have? Speak not so to me. I know why Durin wanted the Shilruka to lead the charge. He thought to expand us at the tip of the spear, throwing away our lives and holding his own people in reserve. He thought to spend Shilruka blood to gain Gundabad and reward it to his long beards. But he is not as canny as he believes, and I did not fall for his scheme. Oh, jeez. Will you stop fighting at some point and... and join for the greater good? My Shelruka have fought and died as bravely as any two longbeards, and if Durin calls me coward, he will answer to my axe. He seeks proof that my Shelruka have paid the price, look then upon the corpses of my slain, and gather their fallen weapons. Then you will see that my own folk have done their share. Nay, more than their share. The Shelruka release their weapons only when slain. Collect the weapons but their corpses, and store them in a barrel at the trench to the northwest so they can be wielded by longbeards, who cast aside their own weapons when the fighting turned fierce. Dunin speaks to me of cowardice, he should look to his own. Uh, man, Prince Ingor doesn't hold anything back. I kind of like him, and and I, I kind of like his feistiness as well. But, but it can also get bothersome at times. Oh well, let us let us turn in these quests, the the few quests that we can uh, complete in here. Ah, yes, this will do. I'm glad that you see that way. There's another archer in here, right? Yeah. Not quite sharp enough. Good. It will sting the orcs. Have you a moment? You have my thanks, Beryathan. Circle Zulu must not be allowed to fall to the orcs. And it will not. Do not worry, Veriathan. We Shalruka will make sure every last arrow is returned to our Gorgod -Gor and his orcs. <laughs> yes. Very good. Varicates alone may not stop Gorgod -Gor and his orcs, but they will do much to aid in the defense of Sarkul Sulun. Yeah, it seems that was it. Now we can continue our way through the war. Abandoned weapon. Okay, there we go. Oh, we only need two. To grab six of them. Okay. I mean, the only thing I, I don't like about this song is how abruptly it ends. It seems kind of weird to me. I mean, it's building up. It's getting to such heights. And um, for the song to end that way... It, it's a little anticlimactic in my opinion, but other than that, it, it it's a really cool song. Alright, so... It's gonna be someone atop this hill, I believe. Oh, come on. Alright, 
do we have in here? Guardian. Oh, we have a group of people in here. That's awesome. Loving seeing so many players spread out through the entire game. Perhaps old wounds might be healed in battle. I have nothing of note to report, Briatan, except that not once in all my years in Mordor have I seen a troll with two heads. Shakalathrat is ours, and we have Riley to its defense. For the Gavilaka! Shakalathrat, yeah. Alright, so this is... Ah, and we can enter Shakalathrat? Okay. But first, um... Let me get this Frost Tusk. I did remember fighting them. So I was I was right on that account. Mammoths trample enemies upon the battlefield and must be dealt with in order to win this war. You must defeat any mammoth that you come across upon the battlefield to secure victory for the Gavilaka. As well as well, the trolls, well, everything else. But I wanna double check Shakala Thrat. Oh! Yeah! That's something that I really liked about World of Three Picks, how the battlefield uh, changes. So, Suzerandam is now in, in possession of the enemy, but we have gained Sakalathrad. And we have Circled Sulun too, so... Uh, it gives this idea of a dynamic battlefield, and I really like that a lot. Risty, there you go. I was looking for you. In games, I allow for chance. I take no such gambles in war. Warden, I must speak with you of an urgent matter. Scouts have spotted what seems to be a raiding party heading in our direction from the east. It appears that the enemy seeks to ambush us from behind. I do not know how they were able to get around our lines, but we must confront their raiders immediately. They cannot be allowed to cross the river Trekpath. And they will not. There is much to be done, and little time for talk. That blasted Howler's Notch. Have you been there? Those work dens do not have works in them any longer. Now, Howler's Notch is the training ground for the Ashorns. They were once hill beasts, captured, tortured, and bred for war. The Ashorns are being trained by Hobgoblin Beast Tamers. We must stop any more of the deadly beasts from being unleashed upon the battlefield. Ah, we have another banner that will take us to Elder Slate, so no, uh, no quests for us in there. Just resting here, okay. Yeah, War of Three Peaks is definitely a place in which the 10 quest uh, tracker, even the 10 quest tracker will fall short. Uh, and, and you know me, I like having all these many quests at once and doing them all together. And I would love to have the new quest tracker with me on this endeavor, but I was so eager to get into the war. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't wait. Funny enough, if before the shadow hadn't been delayed, I would be right now playing with the new tracker, but uh but sadly well the before the shadow was delayed, so So I will have to wait a little bit longer for that. Oh come on. As for crush enemies upon the battlefield and must be dealt with in order to win this war. You must defeat any Arshorns that you come across upon the battlefield to secure victory for the Gavilaka. So yeah, basically a, a lot of the A lot of the quests that you get here in War of Three Peaks is just fighting and uh, different kinds of enemies. So, 30 quests in World of Three Peaks is, is really not that much. When you stop to see how many quests are just variations of defeat these many kinds of enemies. Now we gotta go back to the main road and, and confront the raiding party at the river before we continue further west. And here we have the two-headed trolls that uh, Guardian was talking about. 
Uh, but this is not the first time we, we face a two-headed troll. You might remember in the Glimmer Deep. Uh, we also... Well, the Glimmer Deep was the first time we found one of these guys. Uh, well, the Glimmer Deep is a... He is really close to Elder Slate, so... Makes sense to find the two-headed trolls again in here. Hammer, axe, and sword. Yeah, we'll need all of those to win the war. Iron Crown Commander. That should be enough. There is no raiding party to be found, only be warnings. Okay, Langar, Parthmod, Irsa, Sick Hilt, Hertha, Scarding, awesome. The only the only one I don't recognize is Thira. Uh, I mean we, we have not met maybe all of these Bjornings. No, Langar and Barthmoth we have met before. But if you play a Bjorning, you will have a, a longer history with, with them as they will they are the, the the siblings of your um, the siblings of your Bjorning character. Uh, Thira, well, is an NPC of Limblock. Now I see Sighild is from Limblock as well as Irsa, Hertha from the Vales of Anduin, and Scarding. Hertha is from the Vales, right? Yeah, from the Vales of Anduin. Yeah, all the Bjornings. Well, most of the Bjornings that we have made during our travels have come here to the war, and it seems they are eager to help us. You know Bjornings, they have a, an animosity with goblins, with Orkind in general, so it seems we have reinforcements coming to us. The Orcish hold upon Gundabad is at an end. Why, Berithan, have you come to welcome us to the battle? How very kind of you. We are people of our word. If Green Baron declares that the Bjornings will assist our allies in their time of need, that is what we will do. We are here to help you win this war. Come, let us not waste another moment. The Bjornings have kept their word to assist the dwarves in their time of need. Awesome, thank you so much for that, guys. I'll meet you back in Ashkalathrat. Shakalathrat, oh my god. I suck with Kuzul, I told you before. I'm so glad I'm, I'm not playing a Dwarven character because how could I justify my lack of skill at Kuzdul, right? <laughs> uh, for for a Gondorian, it's not so not so bad if you don't if you don't know the words or if you forget them. But for a dwarf, oh boy. So we gotta go back to our Chocolate Rat. My god. Why is that name so difficult for me? I don't know. Take a look at all the guys in here that we can fight. Awesome. Yeah, that's one of the best parts about World of Three Peaks. How populated is the battlefield? Of course, it's a battlefield. You would expect a lot of enemies. But for people like me, who like to pile up all their enemies, this is a dream come true. And even, even in here, there will come moments in which... Uh, it might even be too many enemies, more than you can handle, especially, especially as we move closer to Gundavad, there is a camp, I believe, 
that is intended for small fellowships. You can solo that thing, but I remember that one being really challenging. I am ready for battle. This is a good enough place to assist as any. Some of my king have ventured elsewhere, but do not fear. I have respect for them all in battle. Speaking of battle, these dwarves could use some of my deadly Bjorning hunting spears. A perfect throw will slice any orc in twain. Here, take these spears and distribute them to the dwarves of Chocolat Rat. Did you have us craft the spears in Limblock? I think there was something along those lines. Is that what this is referencing to? Uh, might be. I do my best to remember as many details as I can, but this game does a lot. Put your back to the past and to the wind. Upon first inspection, this spear seems screwed to an untrained eye. Hmm. Then you feel the balance and notice the deadly sharp tip. This is fine craftsmanship. Sistira, Sigild, and Ertha. All right. War will continue until we win. The wagon should have been here by now. You asked to what wagon Hertha is referring. There is a supply wagon coming from Limlock. Runeric is quite a punctual Bjorning, so if that wagon is not here, I start to think that something is amiss. Would you search for the wagon in Elderslade for me? I would be happier if I knew the supplies were safe. Oh, we're gonna meet Runeric too, that's great. We will win this war! Thera holds out a trap made from the jaws of an avang from its hollow. What do you think? I made them myself. Ursa thought they might be useful, so I brought them with us. These traps would catch the enemy buried on the battlefield. Would you take these traps and bury them for me when you next go into battle? Yeah, I do remember the avang traps. Bayon would be proud of us on this day. Sigil holds out a honey cake. Oh, this isn't for you. Oh, uh, why not? You can share, right? I apologize if you thought I was giving this honey cake to you. I am just proud of this batch. It's old. This is a special and exceptionally hearty recipe that would keep a fighting dwarf full for a day. Huh. Are you venturing out into the battle yourself? Would you take these honey cakes with you and deliver them to the hungry dwarves on the front lines? I would be most thankful. And what if our character is a dwarf? <laughs> I mean, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Okay, it seems we'll need to wait a little bit longer before we continue further west. We gotta look for Runeric. Now we're gonna remove this quest. Right now we don't need it. That's one downside of going in and out locations so often. Come on! Oh, and now we also need to fight works. Okay. Works hunt enemies upon the battlefield and must be dealt with in order to win this war. You must defeat any work that you come across upon the battlefield to secure victory for the Gavilaka. Yeah, once again, a lot of quests for just defeating enemies. In fact, I'm I'm, I'm curious. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven quests, and there are more to come. Now, gotta look for Runeric before we continue moving forward. You end up at Sentry. Too close to Sarkul Sulum for my taste. Oh, 
Oh, there, there it's the wagon. What about Runeric? It looks as if the wagon broke down. Or did Runeric come? Or did he just send the wagon? The dwarf has been slain by an orcish arrow. Defend the supplies? Sure. Gotta wait a couple more minutes in here. It's okay. I can wait. Right, Garolif? Here they come again. Oh my god. Are you for real? I get damage and get morale. Are you for real? Die! You stop it. Stop it with that. All right. This is going to be the last wave. Gotta be right. Okay, so we collect the supplies, let us complete the quest. You have defeated many of the forces of Gundabad upon the battlefield and have done a great service to the war efforts. And if I remember correctly, there are three tiers to that quest. Something along those lines. We'll find out soon enough. Bring the supplies to Hertha. And please tell me this is the last trip we gotta make to Chocolat Rat. There's a war to be fought. And uh well I don't mind running errands. I also want to get into the fray. Here, you have defeated many Ashorns upon the battlefield and have done a great service to the war efforts. <laughs> forces of Gundavad Intermediate. The Orkish forces of Gundavad, the chief enemy of this war, will stop at no cost to keep Gundavad for themselves. You must defeat any of the Orkish forces of Gundavad that you come across upon the battlefield to secure victory for the Gavilaka. Yeah, I told you. do we have in here? Ashorns, we don't need to fight them. Mammoths, we do. It. I hope. I am ready for battle. Blast, I knew it. I should have escorted that wagon myself. Of course, we have the supplies, but at the loss of lives. We are here to help, not to hinder this war effort. I will make it up to these dwarves, I can promise you that. But nothing else so far. So I think we can, at long last, move forward. Let me just see what else we got here that might be useful. 
I haven't done tasks in a long time, but I still want to get these items in case I need them in the future. Might fate? No. Not something I'm particularly interested in. So, it seems at long last we can move forward. Now, okay. Moss loot. This is not a warband, even though it's the same icon. Oh, who's attacking me? Come on! Oh, Christ. For God's sake. And I remember these, these uh, roving threats being really difficult. Not soulable at all. But let's see if I can find... Well, here we have Scarding. The war will continue until we prevail. Ah, oh, very then. Have you come to join me on a hunt? There's a beast upon the battlefield. They call the beast Ashathar. This is the beast I seek. The orc is hold upon Gundabad. Is that an end? Follow me to your side when you wish to begin the hunt. Sure. Moss loot. Oh, God. 12 million morale. Yeah, there is no way I'm, I'm, I'm getting this guy on my own. I was feeling confident, but not that confident. You have defeated many of the Frost Horde upon the battlefield and have done a great service to the war efforts. Great. Now, I don't know if, if Scarding is gonna give us any more quests, so I'm gonna get him out. Oh, come on. God's sake! Attack this guy! Howler's Notch, once a work den, is now a place of terrible holding pains for the captured Ashorns as they are trained for war. Amongst the former work dens, captured hill beasts lie chained to rocks as they await their turn to be trained by the Gundabad orcs. You should free these beasts before the orcs get to them. Howler's Notch, once a work den, is now a place of terrible holding pains for the captured Ashorns. Amongst the former work dens, Vile food lies scattered for the Ashorns. It is so foul that it is hard to discern what is food and what is not. Perhaps it would be best to burn it all in hopes of cutting off the camp supplies. Yeah, we can do all that. No sign of Ashatar here, but it looks like there was recent conflict. The Frost Horde has sworn their lives to the wills and ideals of Remil Frost Horde. You must defeat any of the Frost Horde that you come across upon the battlefield to secure victory for the Gavilaka. There's another, okay, another um, tier to those quests as well. All right. Alright, so another untamed Azorn in here. <laughs> Three scardings, that's funny. But I don't want to fight those guys for... for the kills, so... This orc was mauled by a great force. Do we need to enter Howler's Notch again? Ah! 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 
Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Uh, I'm not sure. What happens if you try to enter uh, Elder's Notch? Is there anything interesting inside? Goblin Beast Tamer. Well, we need these guys. We need the Beast Tamers for other quest. So I guess we can do this. Come on, attack! What a great battle prize, carding. Yeah, it seems there's not a lot of things left to do here inside Howler's Notch, I mean. We can try and, and go down below. And there are a couple more things in here too, but... As long as we don't need to come back here to defeat the work boss for guarding, that's gonna be... that's gonna be great. Stop it with that. But I think that was it, right? Or there is... No, I don't think there is another passage. Taking some time. Take your time. <laughs> yeah, it seems we have finally caught up with the server. the tamers. You have defeated many hobgoblin beast tamers at Howler's Notch. Those in the war effort will be thankful for all that you have done here. Wow, we gotta keep looking for more things. Come on! Stop lagging! This has been recently broken. Continue following the trail. Still gotta break a couple more chains before we can do that. Come on! You have burned many slop piles at Howler's Notch. Those in the war effort will be thankful for all that you have done here. Oh, 
okay, yeah. I thought for a moment you were gonna stay in there. Okay. Here we have the trail. This is very much broken. Wait, but I still need to free some more of these guys in here before I continue following the trail, I told you. Still need to to break two chains. And I don't see I don't see any more tame beasts. Okay, up here. Alright. Well at least here's one, but I'm still missing one more. Oh, come on. are you fighting against scarred in god I mean you want to keep fighting keep fighting but I, I I'm looking for the chains oh maybe that one up there yeah There were a lot of chains in here, actually. Much more better if I had seen this first. You have broken many chains at Howler's Notch. Those in the war effort will be thankful for all that you have done here. Now I can continue following the trail, even though I'm pulling up a lot of unwanted attention in here. Alright, back where we left off, we were following the destruction. This is the last thing that we checked. Oh, come on! Okay, give me his carding. I need him back. Come here. Please don't pull the Yankmarim. Ah, the Dwarf Corpse, okay. Here we go. The Dwarf was mauled, just as the Orc you saw. Where the Trail of Destruction ends? What do we have in here? Sheldrick a soldier. But no, I don't need a Sheldrick a soldier right now. Okay. Seems this is the place. The ground shakes as the beast approaches. Take a look at this guy. For God's sake. It's huge. Monstrous. No, don't lack for God's sake. Oh, 
Ashatark has been defeated, thank God. I am ready for battle. The hunt was a success, as I knew it would be. The kill of Ashatark is our reward. It has been at Del West Bend. Come, let us return to Shakalatrat. Yeah, I gotta return to Shakalatrat for what I hope it's gonna be the last time. I still got a couple, well, a lot of things to do here. We're in the middle of the war once again. But, well, we also need a, a, a good place to end today's episode. Without the risk of the entire battlefield coming after us. So, I, I guess going back to Shakalathrat is is the best thing we can do right now. Yeah, let us look for a way back. No, jump. I mean, we can defeat now this blood, this frost tusk. Complete this quest as well. I, I mean, we're already here. We're so close. Oh, two-headed troll, no. You have defeated many mammoths upon the battlefield and have done a great service to the war efforts. That's true, but a troll I don't want to fight right now. There's no need. I am ready for battle. Rest well for the war carries on. There may be other hunts upon the battlefield before the war's end. Good hunting, Beriathan. Alright, so yeah, we have found a safe place to, to rest, <laughs> even though we're still in combat, but no one is going to get us here. So, in here we'll end today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all, and I will see you later.